What is up everybody, Nels and Finney here, back at it again with a little bit of scum. Like I said, uh, we're just going to be kind of picking up where we left off yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna just play a little bit, I'm kind of in the mood to play some scum here, so. Well, feel free to stop in and say hey and see what I'm up to. Like I said, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy. Uh, yesterday's stream went pretty well, so hopefully the uh, same goes today. Hopefully the stream today will go pretty nice and smooth. So yeah, but like I said, hopefully everybody's having a fantastic start to the morning, afternoon, evening, uh, wherever you may be in the world. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here real quick. Make sure everything's looking all right. Uh, when you see a black screen, it's just me flicking between the screens is all. So, um, But something I was going to bring to everybody's attention the last time was if nobody noticed... Um, like I said, I'm doing full screen. I do have 1920, 1080. Um, I have V-Sync on. Uh, gamma's only up, so it's a little bit brighter during the day, but at night it helps for the stream to be able to see better. Uh, graphics, though, are set to low. So, I mean, if you think that, like, hey, this actually doesn't look too bad, um, just imagine actually playing it yourself. The graphics are phenomenal. They look so much better. So this right here is literally with just stuff off and low. So if basically if you pretty much just imagined actually playing the game with the graphics that, you know, it works on, then that, that it looks way better. Um, I only do that just for the quality of the stream, just for it to um, stream as smoothly as possible. Um, and like I said, it honestly to, doesn't look bad. So, so you can hit continue. So like obviously whatever character you have here, let's say you play a multiplayer and you're on one server. Let's say you play on a couple different servers. You're on one of the servers. That character you had on that server will be here. So whatever character is standing here, yes, Danny, yes, yes, Mel's what he's talking about. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so whatever character you have literally sitting here when you load into the game, that is the game or server you'd be continuing. So right now he's loaded here. That means that my single player game was the last one I played. He's standing here. Boom, I can continue. So if I hit continue, it's going to load me in with him on my single player game. But if I went to play online, and then I came back, that would be uh, what happened. So, um, yeah, I would see my other character and would have to hit single player and play that mode. Uh, for everybody that's been a part of the uh, the It's Makeup Time Everyone Community Challenge, yes, it was completed yesterday. So, likely Thursday or Friday, I'll have to see which day, but I've got to have the lady, you know, be on board for uh, doing the makeup, so i got to make sure that she wants to do it and which day. Like, I mean, she's going to do it just which day she's going to do it. That way we can uh, um, do a, a stream for it then. So that's pretty much just it. It's just, um, you know, just got to wait till her day's off, um, which is normally mine. So like Thursday, Friday, so somewhere probably Thursday, Friday, I'll be able to have a stream up for it. Completing that challenge for y'all.
So that was very exciting to be able to complete another challenge. Alright, so we load it in here. I got the sledgehammer in my hand. It, what I'm wondering is if the loot has respawned since I left, though. All those doors are closed now. Yeah, so I think the loot's all respawned here since I left. So, I mean, that's, that's good. Like, it's not a bad thing. That's a good dying. Uh, so what we're looking for is we really need one more bolt so we can make this quiver. Um, I'm gonna throw that there. Nothing in proximity here. They should have. Yep. Yeah, so it has respawn. Nice. Very good, very good. Alright, um, uh, let's see. I could just find a bolt, man. Freaking amazing. A bolt or just sewing thread, you know? Like that way I have that too, you know? Get some thread. Right on. I, mean, I guess that's a good thing that it uh that it did respawn stuff in here. So I don't know. I mean, that'll give me a good chance to possibly find what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, there we go. See, boom. Got that, but I don't even need it there. It's so like, let's say I just have it on the floor, right? right? Here, boom. I got one in the vicinity. Got a bone needle on me. Bam. So, not too shabby. Put that there. Put that back in my hand. Ooh, I found a nail. Hold on. Yeah, alright. Wrong one. Good thing. Alright, so if I'm finding nails, then maybe I'll find a bolt. Here. Good, good. Well, it's cool though that you can, uh, I love the uh, idea of building your cars now, like actually having to make one. That's, uh, pretty badass. Like, pretty much scrounged together. Like, according to, uh, what they've said, uh, you should be able to find some cars. Uh, they're reworking the other ones, so, um, I think the only car is just that, that one at the moment. Boom, boom. Well, uh, let's just check and see what else is here really quick. Anything else? All right, so crafting, and we'll make this quiver. Cause I got a sewing kit, human skin, got that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh wait. I do have a quiver. Hold on, hold on. I have a quiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a quiver. So, 
What was it I needed bolts for? Oh, maybe the backpack. That, 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 no. Oh, right here, the holster. Okay, duh. All right, so two of those. Got a scrap metal. Got four of those. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was like, wait a minute, what was it? But yeah, it was a holster. But we are going to try to make a better backpack, but I feel like we're going to make this, and then all of a sudden we're going to go ahead and find one. So, yeah. So this isn't going to add no extra storage to me. Like, I can't put other things in here. But what I can do is this slot, when I find... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, when I find... um. I'm gonna call it pistol of any sort, any type of handgun. It'll uh, it'll fit there. So, all right, let's see. Dude's got a piss. So, go ahead and take a pee. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. We did have all that. We got some stuff there. All right. Um, we have some milk. Have a little bit of cantaloupe, so that's good. All right. Um. Yeah, I feel like I. What do we need to make this backpack? Small improvised backpack. Improvised backpack. Small one needed six. All right, so for an improvised backpack, I need two skins, five rags, and some rope. All right, so I do need to get a puppet. I need a puppet. I need skin. Um, I could cut their rags up. And, uh, okay, cool. Nice, all right. Good work, got this. Let's see, so if that all spawned, then likely there's a puppet here again. Oh, no. Oh. Damn, I was really hoping there was a puppet right in here. Maybe the loot hasn't fully respawned. Very weird. Locked. There's a nine mil magazine though, so that could come in handy. Let's see what we might find just in here. This down. Get this in hands. If you look at it, you're gonna watch the durability go down. Fifty-seven percent. Six. The 
basically uh, every like couple percentage on this locker I mean uh every like three percent or something on here on the crowbar let's see watch we'll see the second that hits 50 it looks like you get about eight to ten percent on the locker for every percentage of the crowbar which is good not bad Nothing. Alright, well, we got the crowbar just for this reason, because I don't have stuff to lockpick yet, so. I have lockpicks, I just don't have screwdrivers. We need to just keep tab open, you know, just kind of monitor the crowbar here. It just takes longer, like with the lock picks, it's to me a lot easier. But generally there's really good loot in here, so I was kind of shocked that that one locker had nothing in it. Might be able to get this whole room done though. Maybe at least find maybe a pistol. Sounded good. Nothing found. Man. I have no good luck on these lockers. Oh, but you know, honestly, I think what it was is as you're using the crowbar or something and like trying to pry stuff open, I think it also damages things in there. Can't remember. It's been a little while, but I figured what the hell, we'll just give it a shot, you know. See what we can do. Got enough. Probably get this last one. So. Ooh, there we go. Got some some rounds here. Forty-five. Yeah, you know, it's something better than nothing, right? See, we should have enough to be able to get in here. So probably about ten percent off the crowbar. I think that there would be enough on this crowbar to do it one more time. Um, we can give it a shot and try. I just, I'm not 100% positive. So left control, rotate with mouse wheel, boom. All right, like I said, we did, yeah, got a couple things. Nothing major though. Uh, let's see. I think I'll bring my, uh, my blade out.
Bro, usually there's uh, all kinds of puppets and things in here, so. Oh, weird, there's none. Here, might just take a little while for them to spawn. vicinity here okay, and you get these other crowbars here I mean other uh, lockers here so we can get those because we can turn those into lock picks Check this whole building first. Let's double check. There's no more here. Doors closed up there. What up, assassin? GG's on first to stream. Hell yeah, bro. Very nice. Very nice. Hopefully, you're having a great day. What you up to? All right, so what I needed was taken hands, this one, and let's cut into rags. Cut into rags. What I'm going to do is drop these good rags away from me first. Um, that way I don't use them by accident. I want to be sure that I'm only using these ones to craft that backpack. Four or five. Okay, I got five of those there. Let's see here what we got. Okay. Oh, nice. So I can do it with the knife in my hand. For some reason, I thought I had to use the machete to do it. Alright, um, what I want to do is get this skin. Alright, so we got one skin there, two skins there. Um, I'm going to put this back here. My hand here. In hand. Alright, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Got all these rags here. Two, three, four, five, six. Got that. Okay. Is I'm gonna come down here. I'm going to drop this right these rags here because I don't want to accidentally use these ones uh, when making the backpack. Because sometimes you you select you know use this this and this, but it ends up uh, you know still using it up. All right, so. Improvised rope, I need five rag strips. But for this backpack, I need five rags. Alright, so one, two, three, 
So you can go one, five, was, there we go. Cut into rack strips. Fuck, I should have put my stone knife in my hand, damn it. It's all good. Alright, so crafting. I can make improvised rope. And use up these rag strips that I just made. One, two, three, four. I think there's five. Alright, so we got improvised rope. Crafting. Alright, so five dirty rags, two skins. Oh, two improvised rope. Okay. Yeah, so, alright. Got the improvised rope. Got this still. Taking hand. Cool. Okay, so now we just need to find some other clothing items in here. And who knows, if we find a backpack, then hell yeah. All right, just got to double check all this stuff. All right. Even got these blockers over here too. All right. They can hit gonna do is cut this into rags. Try to make some more rag strips here. Alright, so I got one more dirty rag. Dirty rag there, which should cut into a couple rag strips. Okay, so let's see, we're here. And uh, with that in my hand, we're going to cut. Cut in the rag strips. Just gotta get five of them, so five again. It was for ice rope. Five rag strips, yeah. We got two. All right. Um. Oh, I think I've officially used up my knife. All right. Got this in the rags. I'll have to make another knife with uh, two more stone outside. Very good, very good. Alright, cool. So now, you can improvise rope one more time. Then I got the improvised rope on me, and then I got the five rag strips, got sewing, got human skin. Alright, so then crafting. Come here, go sewing kit, two skin, all my dirty rags, because I'm not in the vicinity of the, these ones. Got my rags, or my uh, improvised rope. Go ahead and uh, craft this up. Hopefully it gives us a little bit more storage. Which will be nice. At least till we find something. And let's say we find a backpack really soon. It's not a big deal because obviously we um, got some XP gain from crafting all this. So, you know, it works out either way. Alright, so inventory. Boom. 
Alright, so this is our backpack now. So you got nine spaces, right? Equip. Boom. And uh, open the inventory to this one. And be like, bam. Bam. Oh, it's like, check it out. I got all of this still. So that other one was one, two, three. The other one was only this big. So, you see? This big. Now I got way more room. So, and it holds a lot more. This can only hold um, this much. So, then all you do is just take this and you will cut that into rags. And then any good rags will uh, keep together and uh, bad rags will keep separate. So, all right. So, kit, sewing kit, uh, nails and bolts there. Um, Go ahead and I'll put this down here. Got my money, got my little fire starter, got my sewing kits. Um, I can do like scrap metal here. Got some feathers. The feathers here is like bolts and nails. I guess I'll just put this one here. If I get a pistol, boom. Face bag for something. Here's my coat. Oh, no, no, no. This one I can hold food. I'll actually put my food down like this. Alright, so rag, rag, rag. So, good rags are here. Okay. I'm going to kind of have like a little bit of medical stuff. So, these can convert into more lockpicks. So, you know, for now. Let's see. Boom. I'll do this. That way I can just have six of them and be ready to rock. And then what's cool is a sledgehammer. Uh, let's see here. Quick. Maybe I can actually put this stuff up here. My sledgehammer can actually fit right there. So, I mean, I can put it here if I want. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and move this stuff down a notch here. Go ahead and get my uh machete here. Keep this spot for the machete. All right, we're going to add this to quick access, so let's add that there. When we make another knife, we're going to go ahead and put it on four. Uh, oh, here, we can put the crowbar on four. Put a knife on five. So, yeah, that works. Okay. I find enough. I find enough. Let's see, I wonder if I have enough to open this up. I got 15 here. I can get halfway at about eight. I should have enough to open the whole crew, the whole thing. So if it hits about eight. Alright, I think I'm literally gonna be able to just open this. Let's hope, really hope it was worth it. Cargo drop deployed landing in two minutes. C1. I don't think we're here. C1. I'll have to look here in a second. So how's everybody's day going? What's everybody up to? So it looks like it takes about 12. 12% 12 of a crowbar. 
to uh, open a locker. So what we can do is we can go ahead and just drop this. Get another crowbar, boom. Not too shabby. Go ahead and put these here. Up here, let's see how we're doing on food and water, all that art. Right. Go ahead and uh, drink a little bit of this milk. Drink. Go ahead and eat a little bit of this bad boy. All right. Cool. So now looking a lot better here. All right. So now when I'm running around, I can just hit three, boom, bust that out. Two, pull out my sledgehammer, and a one, pull out my spear. Pretty good. All right. Pretty nice. Let's see. Uh, I thought we found. Might have been down first floor. Yeah, what I was gonna try to show you is I've been getting enough of these locks, show you how you guys uh craft the little locks and stuff. Right, just checking because I know I've seen some locks, so Um, it's like five locks to, uh, see, I can't believe I didn't find, uh, believe I didn't find any, uh, anything really in any of the lockers. Crazy. Nice, look at that, I actually got another really good rag there. Good. Alright, so nothing nothing too fancy on them there. Don't worry about that. Sometimes this is where you'll find like the good medical stuff, so. If I remember right, this is like the little medical like a little medical building. Find today charcoal. Those safety pins you can turn into lockpicks as well. Uh, what's the third building? 91? Nice. Alright. Oh, shit. Rags. Mm -hmm. A rag. Alright, we'll take it. Cool, we'll take it another rag. Alright, so yeah. Not a whole lot in here. Loot kinda bare. Let's see if there's a puppet in. Usually they spawn in this room. Let's see what I'm
Got some clean socks here. Um, I'll put them here and uh, let me actually find two rocks. Right All right, let me get back in here. Right. Go and craft up a new, uh, just, just a new little knife here. There. Okay. Um, I guess I can put a knife here. Alright, there we go. Alright, um... Uh, and cut these into rags. All right, uh, crafting bundle. In the rag strips, we'll go ahead and try to make another bundle one for the couple to use when I need them. So, I'm gonna basically be bundling some of these like this. Yeah, like that. I'll uh, just keep this rag strip on me for the time being, but no, no, no. It's... I'll do that because I can't hold that much. This can hold. Oh, uh, how are we doing on this? Shabby. A little bit of this real quick. Protein, energy. We got a pretty good uh, little percentage there. So. Gotta keep myself hydrated. Like I said, I've been finding a lot of uh, veggies and stuff. So, you know. Go ahead and take a piss. Turn the daylight out. What's cool is uh, you can actually take this if you wanted to throw it as well and everything so you know be bad you just hold G to throw um yeah I want to find one of those like grocery store houses Like one of those like little grocery store style buildings to try to find next. Alright, what do we got here? Ring coat. Ooh, got a seat. Oh, the sun. I don't know where I'm supposed to store all this shit. Like, oh god. I uh, got another ring coat here. I don't need it though.
a whole lot in here, but like I said, I mean, you got a seat though. Sure, uh, how big the seat is. And it takes up uh, quite a bit of room. So yeah, it, uh, damn. Oh, that's, oh, okay, yeah, I'm at the front of the PlayStation. Fancy there, so this is that little bigger house? I like these ones, nice and uh. Honestly, never had this much trouble finding a uh, big backpack. Kind of crazy. Uh, cut into rags. Wop them out. Get a couple. I'm telling you, you freaking need rags a lot. So for me, uh, when you're fighting the puppets and stuff, your your best bet is to just kind of hit and back up, hit and back up. Um, that always helps to prevent you from getting hit by them. So I'm going to open these doors. These doors. Holy shit. I might end up dying here. Fuck. I got stuck. See, I don't. I hate that you lock on to them, which kind of sucks. So that's something that kind of sucks, though. You know, but yeah, like I said, it's got to be prepared. You know, for all the uh, all the shit. You know. So we're doing our best that we can and hopefully we can get all these to recover.
Um, so yeah, so you know, like all this stuff here, you know, you can check out all your stats, skills, things like that here. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of laying here resting and stuff and uh, everything. Uh, but yeah, you know, you can come through here and just check out your skills and stuff and see like how much percentage XP you have out of what it is. And then this circle would turn to this and then this one would turn to one of these ones. So on and so forth till you have a full circle. And, uh, you know, then once you max it out, then yeah. And like I said, you can come through here see like you know all your different stuff here and your lifetime and weight how much your gear weighs walking speed jog speed you know running uh you know just all the different stuff which is really cool you come up here and check out you know strength constitution dexterity see what all that is or like I said investigate all your health all this stuff's recovered so I laid down, let all this recover, and uh, like I said, if you lay down basically, like you treat it, it stabilizes, you want to lay down, just really let it recover, um, basically giving your body some rest and stuff, then uh, you know, you'll, you'll be back good and going all over again, you know, so, but the more you're doing stuff, the longer it takes for all this uh, recovery to happen and everything. Oh, not too shabby. So it takes a little bit. It used to be a lot slower. Your recovery was like way slower, but now it's uh, you know, now you've you've gotten a pretty good little recovery stuff now. But uh, let's uh make sure that we have our spear out. We're gonna come over here. I want to search this room. Search you now, because I feel like if you're in here, there's got to be something in here, probably. Three, that rag strip, cool. You know, we're going to get right back to where we were, so. Hey, end game, I got out. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I don't like is when I'm engaged in a fight, I keep locking onto them, and it's, it makes it a lot harder to uh, kind of like try to run away, basically. I wonder if I can eat these seeds though. Probably tastes like shit though. I'm not gonna wear no masks because that involves um wearing masks involves you to have to take it off to eat every single day. We're not gonna do that. Uh we gotta kill here, so let's uh now actually take this in our hands. Cut this in the rags and uh, see what we can do. Start getting a little uh, stockpile up again. Like I said, wouldn't take too long to kind of get back to where we were, you know. But uh, I would like to get some absinthe, uh, like I said, find that type of like alcohol or whatnot, because uh, that really helps you um, treat the infections really well. So it's it's a good thing to have that on you. Let's see. Red seeds. Raw, slightly off, but... Go ahead and eat all. All right, so seeds give us a little bit of protein and stuff, so that was good. Over here, you can all control, see everything it's giving you. Fats, carbs, protein, a little bit of water, that kind of stuff. All right, so I want to find one of those, uh, Right there, my fat, okay. Search something. Yep, yep. Okay. 
Um, let's see. But one of these buildings kind of like probably this direction. can do is try to see if there's any water in this room. Oh no. I was thinking that was the uh... Nothing? Oh, right here. This is what we want. We want these like grocery store buildings. Check C. A lot of times, like said, they'll spawn up here. Getting a good full circle going here. Want to make sure they're not anywhere. All right. Oh, we got Shamula. Getting some money. Eventually, we can go to a trader. Oh, we did see the watermelon upstairs, so that's a good thing. There's little scissors in there. Open down here. All right, so watermelon. Oh, yeah, the watermelon's a lot bigger than that. So, watermelon was pretty big. So, eat this some of that bad boy. Like Oh yeah, it's kind of deteriorated a little bit. We're gonna just try to eat some of this. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? That way we're getting some uh, some food in us here. We'll go ahead and take this uh, fishing line, I guess, for now. Kind of weird there, because it's been sitting there this whole time. Alright. Yeah, here. Alright, so we just checked this grocery store, and there was like another one, though. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. Make sure. All right. Start at the bottom. Our way up. Let me check these. Sometimes there's stuff in the vicinity you just don't even notice it. So I like to uh. Do it in every room I go in just to make sure I don't miss stuff. Anything there? Oh. 
See if they got anything. Maybe some sewing thread. Thread. Nice. I'm just going to try to eat, get this eaten as much as possible um, before it gets too bad. Uh, that way we can just try to really keep up on ourselves here. Nice. That worked out pretty good. So we'll be munching on that for a little bit. All right. So we don't need anything else from uh, them, like no, uh, do need to try to maybe get to another town or just really focus on just looting this town quite a bit till we start getting some more resources. Like to check through the. I don't see um anybody like any puppets or I jump in. Where did some of this stuff uh spawn? That's crazy. So that's kind of why I'm just double checking some of the stuff I've already been to because uh. Obviously, there's some stuff here that respawns really quickly. So I figure what the heck, you know. Alright, um, let's see, how are we doing here? Definitely gonna need this though. Um, bed and, uh, just try to eat this again. Before we take off. Like I said, if you see that this bar is about to go all the way up to where you would throw up, boom, you can just hit cancel. Way it doesn't happen. Kinda wish I had the room earlier to have gotten that uh pumpkin. I mean that watermelon. Would have been fucking nice. Okay. Possibly room here. Okay. Doesn't look like there's one here. Alright, cool. I mean, literally going through these uh, houses and stuff is like going to be your best bet for finding um, you know, backpacks and food. So it's like definitely search the shit out of everything. All right, because my guy's got to go pee. All that watermelon catching up. not too shabby uh, let's see so it's still got pretty good durability here it's not too bad uh, what I can do is I can show you sledge here some action like I said I might get fucked up a little bit possible There we go. Alright, so all of them. Treat, treat. Treat that one. Health goes. I'm going to show you, like, I better treat it. Just, you know, losing some health here. Go ahead and treat that. Kind of helps treat it a little bit. You, basically, what you want is you want enough, enough rags to go around, pretty much. 
to uh, be able to treat that all the way. So boom, boom, this, and then it'll put it into stabilizing. The idea is why that bar is going down, you're, you're just bleeding out pretty much. So we'll get a couple more rags and stuff. You want to make sure they're the rags, not ones that say dirty rags. And you got an issue. Smokes. Smoke and a pancake. All right, so two. Actions, lay down. And you just lay here. So just lay here for, you know, a few minutes and then, uh, you know, let, let everything kind of like catch back up and all that. And pretty much before you know it, you know, you'll just be healed up again. So you just give this stuff some time to stabilize. It takes a little bit, but, you know, not too shabby. And then, uh, you know, the recovery will go pretty quickly. Man, basically good to go, you know. So we got in here. Stuff. All right, so what I'll do is as soon as that hits stabilizing, then I'll uh, I'll show you guys a little bit. What we're doing is we're just waiting for it to hit stabilize here. Oh, gas can. Definitely want that. Figure out, let's see. Take a look here real quick. I actually might stabilize before I even get to it. All right, so I got that. Just all the watermelon. All right, so we got that there. I want to be able to make some lock picks now. So. Lock pick. Bullets, charcoal, oak, and throw these locks in here. That way I can show you guys how to make a lock when I uh, find the rest of them. And pumpkin in the watermelon, but gas would be good though, so. All right, let's see. We're almost there, so I'm trying to search this stuff. The recovery part happened. As I see, like how quickly it recovers.
So yeah, so we're just laying here. Like I said, uh, I wouldn't say it necessarily like speeds up, but I feel like when I'm injured and I go ahead and stabilize, like treat it, stabilize it, and I just lay down, just like in a couple minutes, it all goes away very quickly, and my health will be from like zero, you know, just about zero all the way up to a hundred very fast. So you know, not too bad. I know it looks funny. My legs all clipped through the uh, raincoat. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much you just see, like, you know, like I'm just about back to 100 again, so. Not too shabby. Go ahead and eat. Figure if this thing keeps me hydrated and gives me a little bit of solids, and hell yeah. It's like if I go to eat it again and food repulsion is pretty high, what will happen is I'll end up, it'll... What will happen is uh, it'll basically bring up my food repulsion all over again. So you want to basically let it go, stabilize, recover, and then do it again. Once you get like guns and get to the point of a vehicle with guns and you know shit like that, gas mask, you know, different oh well, hazmat suits, that kind of stuff. Like there are some amazing POIs and a lot of bunkers you can go raid and uh just some really, really cool stuff. And obviously the POIs have really, really good loot. So you find you'll find a military quiver which has three slots. Um, you find really good back backpacks and nice gear and uh, better holsters and uh, military boots that you could also store stuff in your boots so you have a boot storage. So I mean, you you find a lot of really really cool stuff. Um, but with getting good stuff is. You know, you encounter a lot of zombies, but you also encounter, like, uh, beepers, the ones that explode. So you have to be very, you know, tactful about it. And there are also um, more military zombies there, so, like, military puppets. And they're not as easy to kill with just melee. You would basically have to have a gun to kill them because they're, like, more armored. So, you know, too shabby. Go ahead and take a piss over here. I'm just trying to eat this because it's like the one thing that's going to just kind of keep me hydrated and going at the moment. So I don't know if that was a bunker right there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Like I said, I would like to make my way over here. So there's not a lot of stuff to hit on the way there. I mean, there's little stuff to hit. But I was thinking, I don't know. I may just kind of follow this road out of this area, this direction. Kind of work my way up. Possibly what I'm going to do. So, you know, we'll see. I 
kind of hoping to find like a vehicle here or something. Oh, not a vehicle, but well, yeah, I forgot because everything kind of they kind of changed it up a little. Let's see, so out of this town. Go what this way? Oh, I think I would want to go this way. That way. Without having an actual compass, it's kind of like, which direction am I supposed to be going? Yeah, I think it's that road. Man, I've searched a lot here, just haven't found a backpack or nothing yet. I mean, I managed to make this one, so you know, I'll be happy with that. There. Another worth a shot. Let's come over here. Both seems clear. I guess I'm going this direction. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I am going the right way. I'm not too shabby. A very uphill road. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and search this. Another little area here. Maybe it'll have a couple things, you know. Over okay. this watermelon.
keep that open, you know, so that way you can watch it. Hopefully we can find like some corn and stuff, you know, again. Our long, our long trek full journey, trekking around. Oh, we got a uh, some type of field over here. Maybe stuff in it. It was some crap. There we go. Corn gives me a, a little bit more uh, of the like solid side of stuff. So I like that better. And what's cool? The I could. Store. You at least store one corn. Plus, well, not spoiled, you know, like getting spoiled. So obviously, it's a little fresher. It's kind of from one food source to the next, right? Apocalypse, I'll water all this stuff here. Kind of just randomly going around, just clicking them. Kind of doing find one more door. All right, there we go.
I got my corn there. If we can get one more, I'll go ahead and eat it. Sometimes I wish if there was corn there, loading bar comes up, I wish that it would be like, oh yeah, there's corn. But if there wasn't corn, it would just, you know, not even let you search it. Or I wish that the actual yellow pieces that you see on some of them would be corn to pick off. But like these don't have none. This one has some. This one has, these have some. You know, like you look at it like this doesn't. I feel like I wish that those were ones that you like kind of had a better idea of like oh yeah this has got corn all right let's see what we can do The, the stone spear, I would say, stone and metal are definitely better for sure than you using just a wood spear. If you use just a wood spear, it's, it's not even really worth crafting. I would highly recommend if you're going to make a spear, just make this stone, stone tip or a metal tip one. That would be like your honest best bet. So, a whole bunch of small logs for like a fire and stuff. Oh, hold of my spear. And pass the sand spray. Alright, let's see. There's a beanie. I can actually cut up. Thinking he try to get a couple more rags going again. Probably give me a rag. I can find a newer backpack, that'd be badass. Like an actual backpack. Probably some lane in here, one in here. Huh, crazy. 
Let's scrap. Do not be more love crap. I'm surprised I haven't found any uh saws they're thinking about. Hopefully you find saws in here, like saws and shit. Like little hacksaws that you can use instead of an axe, they're really nice. Search this place. Off to the next. Got this little water spot here. Okay, were these again? I think so. Ah. Those are the good ones. Mushrooms we'd want are those yellow ones. A lot of scrap metal. You all the cars you find usually find like quite a bit of scrap metal. Just making sure nothing around. Uh, that sledgehammer is good though. Nails, okay. Definitely need nails, nails and bolts, lots. Waterfall over there, I think another little house. Shabby.
Look at this little plot here. This could have been a nice little plot to build. Nice little lake view there, you know? Only thing about that is... There isn't really many POIs around that. Alright, so I don't think I've encountered this one yet. So let's try eating it and see what happens. And if it turns out that it's alright and I'm not suffering from anything, then perfect. Oh, stomach's right. full. Damn. It's time to rest. I didn't realize it was that full. Shit. Take a poop. Quick. Poop in this bush. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about how full I was. I was like, oh wait, hold up. Come on, take a boost. Alright, so, pretty good here. Good and uh, stomach full is almost uh, fully recovered, so be pretty good there. So if I find some of those yellow mushrooms, that'd be nice. I know those ones are pretty good for you, so. So it looks like the mushrooms that are safe to eat are generally the ones that do not have a like red side effect type stuff in the uh, description. You just uh, make sure that you control, you know, pretty much tab that open. Heard something. Fucking bear. What? Be able to take on a bear. Like a bow or nothing yet. I don't really want to get wet. 
There's a zombie down there somewhere. Fire up here. Oh shit. I right, jumped and fell in. himself. Too funny. <laughs> How are we going to do that? So can I actually get this bear without him killing me? So glad he got stuck. A little of the piss at the wrong time. Yeah, when they take off and run from you, it's usually because you're uh, about to kill them. So, yeah, that was crazy. Sort of the smoke up here. Or, well, we'll see. Watch. <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is, uh, bear head. I'll make a bear head, uh, hat instead. And then what I want to do is, uh, bear paws. Uh, 
Oh, crafting. You're able to. Maybe they don't let you make it anymore. You used to be able to make uh, bear gloves and. And gloves and shoes, which is freaking great. So, yeah, I guess not anymore. Um, alright, let's chop this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to just get some of the meat real quick. I have to drop a couple things, like drop my uh, padlocks and stuff. I have all this on me. And I drop. Uh, yeah, shop more. Try to get all this meat on us. Or at least as much as possible, you know? All that. Make another bundle of rags? Do this, that way we can save some space here. A bone needle. What I should have done is this uncraft craft. Ah, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. All right, so go ahead and drop that up. Carry uh, put feathers down here. Drink all this really quick. Mm -hmm. Bunch of meat, so it's gonna be nice. Very good. Grab that.
doing? Um, doesn't run away very much. Try and try to get as much as as possible. We're just trying to stock up and get as much meat as we can because the bear gives you the most meat, so. This tastes like crap! I'll go ahead and get rid of the bone needle. Grab some fat put on me. Go ahead and uh take uh take that in hand. So the rest of the stuff's gonna have to kinda be left here, which is All right. nice. The wolf is on. We're going to do is try to make it over there to that little place. Usually a uh, but it's usually over here in this cabin, by the cabin. Expanse. Oh yeah. All right. There. Yeah. More cycle pants. Give me more. Room. Hold a little bit more. Has wood in it, which is good. All right, so crafting a building. All right, so we want one of the build a place.
there. Five little sticks. Um, let's go ahead and build six nails. Six nails. Be scrap. Ladders full. What we're gonna try to do is build this little uh, storage chest and be able to put our stuff in there. Uh, it's probably too hot for. Up for me. Airhead, probably too hot. These will rags, rags. All right, so I need some small sticks, planks. I need logs. So what I need. Is... All right, so small stone. I need two stone, and I need a pick and. There. Pretty good spot over here, to be honest. I'm gonna just go out and search this. I don't know what I'll find over here, you know? You know, actually, I'm gonna drop some off in here. I don't. Alright, let's see. Um, drop. Drop. Drop that. Bolts. It does lose, you know, some of its durability and stuff over time, but you know. Let's 
that's fine. Play a, yeah. Have some food, so. Oh, I get some of my fat up, get some of my stuff up here. All right. Over here, I can all magazine. I don't have a gun yet. We're gonna make two of those. That way I have two. Gotta get quite a bit of wood chopped up, so. I get two of those. And uh, I need long six and some rope. See what we can do. So long six. All sticks. Damn it. Uh, All I'll do is probably craft these in a rope and then craft more rope. Oh yeah, because I, I do need some small, small uh, sticks anyway, so. Uh, wooden logs and... Oh, I even got uh, more logs out there for like fuel. Yeah. All I'm doing is just trying to make two axes, so I'll we'll have two axes here. Uh, Alright, crafting. Axe. Craft. Uh, 
take five in my hand and go ahead and cut into rags because what I want to do is also try to uh, get my little bed made too. Oh, I have a spawn point. Uh, let's see, because thing is, if you don't craft a shelter or a bed, uh, you don't have a spawn point if you die. So get a bunch of rags, or you can use pretty rags, some rope, and some long. Got my inventory. Alright, so I just gotta make some more rope. Big rag. Gotta make some more rope and three long picks. This, I need scrap. Small sticks. Getting there. All right, you know what? Come on. Does that take only four? Shit, no, okay. There you go. Know, right here and do it. There you go. Got no rag strips. Rag strips, rag strips. I just gotta make another knife. So, make a knife. There are noises and it's like tripping me out. All right, go ahead and uh, we're going to craft some improvised rope. It never hurt you. It never hurts just to have you know, stuff on you. Good. Because you need it for quite a bit of stuff, so. So, all right, now I just need long six. I got a little bit of rope left there. Okay. Put the rope down here. Down here. Keep that up a little bit. We're just trying to eat. I don't want this to go all the way up, but I'm just trying to eat quite a bit of it so I can get some like actual protein.
All right, there we go. Get any closer that way. This can. Uh... Yeah, that way that can. The uh, curds on eating food, we will solve sugar fat. Treatment, puking, drinking a lot of fluids. Yeah, let's go, uh, harder then. Get rid of the feeling, drinking some fluids. There we go. Made it go away. So. Shabby. Like I said, uh, we're, we're just eating the meat the way it is now, but uh, we will eventually get it like cooked up and stuff. So, just, uh, you know, it's got to take a minute. Got to slowly get there. Take some time. Alright, oh. Uh, oh, let's take. Oh, dude. Cut down this. We got logs back there too, actually. So, see, there might actually be some logs in there. Go. I need some long sticks and stuff too, so. we can do is put one Trying to move a little bit closer to our area here. If you're not sure like what log it was, you know, you can bring that one like that. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so this needs some planks, this needs some small sticks, this needs some long sticks. Okay. this and keeps freaking me out man
do some planks here. Got our four planks. You could like bundle these and bring them all in at the same time if you wanted. But I don't know, you know, for me it's just yeah. Boathouse. I've actually gone to that one. No. What you need is a piece of metal though. Which picked up. I thought I had two pieces, but I guess I don't. So, I don't know. What you could do if you really wanted, you could bring these, like, you know, drag these as well closer if you wanted. All six, three long six. Do need a scrap piece of metal though. Nice, maybe it'll be a Maybe I can find a piece up here. Oh, but I found sewing thread, which is nice. That is what I can do. Uh, come over here and actually chop them up. Get the bone, make bone needle, make another little sewing thread. Alright, so my guy is about ready. Got the bone needle really fast. And did craft it. I have to go back over there. And uh, I think there was a car there. I can search. Earth sewing. Good. Go and repair real quick. Repair. I keep all my stuff repaired. Here. There. Alright, pretty nice. Shabby. It usually means there's a coyote close by, so.
got to keep an eye out for them. One more long six, two more all six. Now I can see at night with a little bit of light right here. Some uh, wood where I can rest. Throw that on the ground. Um, let's see. What am I doing here? Bear meat, so. This tastes like crap. See if uh, I can manage to eat this before food repulsion goes all the way up. Better than nothing, right? So this is going to give me at least kind of like what I need. All right, so that's good. Fat. All right, so a little bit on that. Yeah, one scrap, seriously? Damn. Ugh. I think there was scrap over there. We're gonna go over there. I'm gonna take a pass real quick. Wait, you know what? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. They go up and around. Fucker. You know what? There's a place right over there. Let's go to this place. Hope that there's uh, something I need right in here. I don't. 
Oh, yeah, there's a shovel. What's that? Sometimes the puppets will spawn up here. Probably is worth a try, right? Oh my goodness, that was a boar. Oof. That was another bear. I was like, no. Oh, I did get my chest made up. I swear there was a scrap metal over here. Yeah, because there's a vehicle. Perfect. Oh, all right. I just got a man. Get over here. Find a piece of scrap metal, or just get any scrap metal. I can if anything. A couple. Back up here. Afraid that because I'm going so far away that it's, it's going to despawn stuff over there. If it does, I mean, it's kind of the worst.
yeah, because it's a zombie respawn here, so. Possible. Yeah, firework. Oh, I got a scrap metal. Could just be like, you know, being gone for so long. Like, let it respawn. Oh, let's get back down here. Back all the way here. I'll be mauled to death, you know. Just took a minute for it to realize that I uh need and a lot of cardio and uh burn some running points here. Bobbing and weaving. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is you can go right there across the bottom of the uh, waterfall, but you're going to get wet though. Thing is, trying not to get wet. So. Open because I was gone for a minute. And like respawn my, uh, I mean despawn stuff. All this stuff still here. Oh, 
all the meat at the bottom here. Now, a lot of this meat might spoil, which is fine. You know, if it does, what I can do is turn it into fish bait. Uh, work on getting like a fishing pole kind of stuff made up so which will be nice so be pretty good all right so oh, let's see after all that running the uh stuff I get some made up. Thinking I can eat it about maybe five times. All right, I'll leave it like that. Do four times. That's cool. All right, hell yeah, so I got that built, but, and set name. Oops. Oh, what's cool is I can take this chest, I can move, oh. What I can do is I can move it out here, open this up, and I can take logs. Put them in here. Uh, generally, you need planks, so what I would do is just cut all this up into planks and stuff. But uh, yeah, so you know, like just cut this stuff into planks, then get it stored away. Uh, kind of go for get all this stuff cut up real quick. Of crafting, what we'll do is uh, bundles of planks. You can look at the weight, 3.6 means it has three planks in that. Um, if it doesn't have that, that means it only has two planks, so. You get uh, four planks per log, so when you bundle them, though, you uh, only, no, 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 five planks. You only bundle three, so. So you'll see uh, one, two, three, four. Is it four? No, no, I think it's five. I don't know. Uh, now I'm kind of. I guess swords four planks per pl uh per log.
I was gonna use planks. Build all sorts of stuff. Logs are mostly for like when you're doing foundations, that kind of stuff. So you know. I don't know. Thanks. And I can, you know, get logs from all kinds of stuff, so got a lot of trees around here for logs. Yeah, so four. What I'd like to do is actually get like a wardrobe built. Maybe that sub point, so. Uh, but I would like to have a couple chests so that way I can move them around, move my logs and stuff around easier. Get one that's basically just for wood. Wood, stick, logs, planks, that kind of stuff. That and a couple more plank there. Or what I can do is uh put that there. Put that like that. Return this boom lengthwise. Have it, you know. That way I can take this uh, chest and you just bring it back inside. Hop it around and stuff. Take this chest. Create it. Like right there. Oh. Not too shabby. I'll stick here and uh, get the stick put in here if I want. There we go, bam. So I got all my stuff in here. Good. Put my axe here. I put it back in here, like, unless I'm going to chop some stuff up, you know. Um, like I said, got my blade on me so I can equip it. Um,. So I got played that stuff there. Go ahead and re-update it to access there. Have an axe on me. And it would be there. Get out showing I'm not carrying it. My food items. Lock picks and put my bandages there. I don't have anything for feathers quite yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Just a second. Hold on. Back in yeah, the rags, food, kind of medical related. Might be like medicine, medicine, or kind of medical items. Right here might be like lock picks and locks, or uh, lock picks and uh. 
screwdriver is this right here be for repairing stuff that I have on me. Just like my money, my card, I have my little knife there. When I get boots, I usually put the knife there. But, uh, maybe. Put those if I want it. There's logs in it. There we go. It's like up on the wall, so it's funny. Here and rest. Yeah. So when you die, you would use your fame points to respawn. So uh, the idea is if I died right here somewhere around here while I was like, you know, getting stuff with all the wildlife around, um, basically I would spawn here, can just run there, and pick all my stuff back up. So that's the idea. But uh, let's see. Um, so if you do a wood chest, just planks, double nail. The improvised wooden chest better. If you can make the improvised metal chest, that's the best. But this that one requires a toolbox. This you still need nails and some scrap metal. This you only need a couple nails, some plank, two nails. Need two more nails and I can make the better one. So I'll just hang on to it. Um it just kind of shows you like you can like barricade it, but there's really no point. It's just more for like players. You know, but if you want to go all out you can barricade these. Um you could do metal fortification, stuff like that, and then look at them. You see what it normally takes. When I actually put the blueprint down, it's usually less. So like, let's say I was going to put this down, wooden plank, like this one. I walk up to it. Oh, yeah. You gotta hold F down to destroy it. You just hit F then, you know. Oh, well, let's see. Flare trap. Do a fire. Do a barbecue. Oh, standing uh, torch. Standing torch, this right here is a advanced standing torch. Little ring fire, and then you can make a barbecue to go over it. Rocks, logs, and a rag. Like if I wanted to come down here, like, hey, I'm gonna have a nice little barbecue here or something. You turn around and place this like right here. Just some um, rocks, a couple of little logs here. Walk around with the proximity so that way I can see. Uh, even over here, there was usually when you cut up a bush, you get two logs from it. Right now, box.
But when you're in the forest part, what's really nice is there's just tons of rocks. I see we got mushrooms around and everything. So. Grab this. Craft that into a bone meat. Yeah, I got a little campfire now. Um, like I said, I like that. And then, uh, but what I would want to do is uh, want to build this and get the sticks. I need more scrap. But the idea would be rotate this. You gotta move it around though to get it to go on there just right. this again. Doesn't just like snap over. Yeah, you know, try to get it to where it's like right over this, but sometimes when you come in, it gets hung up on other blueprints. So what would have been a good idea would have been like to maybe have built this, uh, placed it before I put the other one on there. Yeah, so you put this on here, and then basically whatever you put on it, like grills, and, uh, you know, cooks a little bit better. But you could, like, place it like that towards, like, partly on. You put your steaks on top of here and grill it in here, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know play around with it, but you can only have so many of these blueprints though, so. Let's get some earnings. Oh, there we go. So what I want to do is let me grab, go ahead and craft this into a bone needle. Get this put away, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of show you a little bit cooking wise. Go ahead and put that there. Needle here. Oh, that I guess. So these rocks here. So if I need another knife or something, have it. Or you know, I don't know. Might need it for something else. Um. Yeah. So go ahead. Some of these. Alright, 
what we would do. Fire. What we're gonna do is we're just going to check taste. Want to say warm raw? So in first person makes it a little bit easier. Oh yeah, hot and raw, hot and raw. Uh, hot and raw, and then you know that those are good. Um, they should eventually say like, They should eventually say, this tastes like, crap. like, um, cooked and stuff. Like, you'll see that, like, you can prepare and cook certain things, so. I mean, the cooking part means there, um, but, you know, it's still kind of, like, still being worked on anyways. I try to keep bear meat that way, you know, it kind of keeps a, a good solid there. You see, it's got a good little animation to like you kind of making a eating motion. I had uh, water or something, I could put it out. You know, it's fine. Like, I don't mind letting it burn. Everything. Um, you know, whenever I need to, I just basically get logs, you know, and uh, fill it with some more. Check this. You could even take and, uh, look. Stick here. Close that out. Just to, uh, you just to be able to take and actually make, uh, you know, you could, you could literally take and, um, cut this up and even make like human meat if you wanted to. So, pretty funny. Keep building. 
Five woods here. I'll show you guys a little head thing here. I got the whole spike here. Like, hey, bro. Like, come on. It lives here, you know? So, pretty funny. Um, I wish I had a container, so let's actually see. I get a flask here. Need. Rope. Need more rope. Um, probably need just a full amount of rope, which is fine. Um, You can even make a skewer, you know? Neat. Oh, uh, basically, you know, be long wood sticks. You can skewer meat and like cook them that way too. Pretty dope. Alright, so. Right here. Tree bark rope.
Yeah, if you get the DLC and stuff, uh, you have like you're able to do a lot more with this wheel here. So you can hold tab and do all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> still eating, still working off a pumpkin. Damn! I realized I had a pumpkin. Get some logs here to throw back in the fire when we need to. That's good. Extra rope there. Some of the meat. Good. I don't really need the activated charcoal, but just in case I like myself kind of thing, it helps. Good. Uh, some of the durability on my stuff went down um, it's the fact that I uh, oh, mainly because of the fact that I was standing too close to the fire so it'll happen if you get too close Oh, you know, I just made this. Eh, made this. I didn't even go fill it up or pick it up. Damn. Forgot. So what you can do is you can take like this right here and uh repair it. Bill, drink all drink, check. Yeah, I was gonna say you could take it and uh, like put the fire out. Um oh yeah, something fun to do. Down here. I think I actually have to have a, a bag or whatnot. If I have rags, you're able to like clean stuff and everything, so. Got a little bit of water. Got a little water on me here. But the bag. All my stuff's pretty much repaired, so Don't really worry about that too much.
Just uh, trying to make sure my food and water and all that's topped off. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Might be uh, a pretty good stopping point here. Let's see if I can get this finished off. That's almost done. What I can do is you can make fish bait out of this and boom. Three little fish baits here. Pretty cool. So I just used the rest of it and was like fish bait. Take a little bit to make a fishing pole and stuff, so like over here into the uh yeah, crafting. Let's see. Got it. Alright. Get the little floater here you can make. Alright. Right here, the little fishing rod. So you need some sticks, rope, wire. Uh, you need some nails, right? Make that. Like I said, a little floater. You need a bow needle and wine cork. Uh, the fishing reel. You need some planks, wine corks, nails. And uh, basically, you just have to make a uh, some like fishing line. Uh, you can make an improvised fishing hook. Uh, and then. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, right here, improvised fishing line. I was gonna say you can do some rope, uh, stuff like that, and make the little, the little line for it and everything. And like I said, uh, it, it takes a little bit, you know, when you do the improvised one, it, it can break a little easier for sure. Um, than if you have a better one. Let's see if I actually uh... Yeah, I don't know if that actually works on Danny because his hair being already like in a little ponytail and stuff. Yeah, see on the normal guy, unlike the normal people, you can cut their hair, facial hair, stuff like that, as long as you have like a bladed weapon. So, you know, not too bad. Let's see, like, look. Put out. Could use up only one. Oh no, I used the whole thing. Alright, so then what you can do is back up. Taking hands. Go fire with small log. Back there. Go ahead and fill this back up real quick. Fill my canteen up. I guess he used the whole thing. I thought I just used like one little sip of it. But... Yeah, so there you go. I actually have some fresh water to drink. Get a little drink again. Trying to keep my water up there, you know. It also helps, like, with the food repulsion and everything. I'm in here to piss, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day. Like I said, hopefully everybody enjoyed. Um, yeah, just kind of some just entry-level little basics. The game and stuff. But what I was saying, though, is if you had the DLC, you have all these other actions you can do. Um, that's where I was doing the photo, taking a little photo mode and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, to me, I think it's worth it. Plus, every time you do, you know, have to poop in the game, you have like a little chance of pooping something out that could help you. So, pretty cool. But yeah, so you just come here, bathroom, let you piss, shit, throw up, you know, so piss, poop, vomit. Uh, you got all these different dance moves here.
Um, you can do all these different type of taunts. Stuff. You got different actions you can do. Check time. Worship. You know, just different things. Whistle. That. Um. Like if you're in like first person mode. Uh, without a long sleeve on, if you're wearing a watch, you can see it. So. Uh, let's see what else you got. So like I said, um, the photo mode. Lay down that kind of stuff. This area is like if you're in a squad, you can leave the squad. If you have an instrument, you can play your instrument. Uh, different commands, you know. You know, I'll be telling people like charge, you know, like if you don't want to talk in game and stuff. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty dope. I mean, you can really, you know, flip people off and stuff. Be like, hey, you know, art. Like if, uh, Hold left alt. It should be left alt. Huh, I guess you can't do it on there, but either way though, he's like holding up the uh like showing love symbol, you can dance, you can do like staying alive, you know. Left alt to let me view what he's doing. So yeah, so I mean they've got all that down. Um, you can even go to music player and play different music in here. You can say stuff. Not so tough anymore. Yeah. That's what you get when you make fun of my mustache. <laughs> Yeah, so you just got like funny shit to say. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff to do, you know. It's not bad at all. Uh, and then you know, there's rain, like weather, rain. Come out here, it's raining. So not bad, but you know, when you go out there, it'll show like a wetness, you know, wetness meter and stuff, dirtiness. Um, like I said, if you have rags, you can clean any of the stuff off. Uh, so that's all clean and stuff. You can clean and you know, decontaminate. It's all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's a lot to it. But uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, more of the game, definitely let me know. But uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be streaming this uh, a little bit more. Maybe take a break from DVD for a little bit. Play some scum. Uh, maybe showcase a couple other games. Like I said, I am a variety streamer. So I play a lot of survival, open world, crafting, building uh, zombie type stuff, uh, but I do play a little bit of horror themed games and, uh, everything, but yeah, I mean, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, liked it, whatnot, definitely, uh, give it a like, shoot me some comments, uh, I export everything over to YouTube, so every, every so many days, like, probably like once in a week, um, I'll export things over, um, I do have some YouTube exclusives that are on there, so you won't see me streaming those at all. Uh, they're just YouTube exclusives, so you have to go to YouTube to check out those uh, those little uh, series of survival games that I'm playing. But yeah, it's like I said, Nels Infinity, where life never ends, and I will see you guys all in the next one.